I don't know why we're starting in the bathroom, but we are, I guess lighting. Lighting in here is phenomenal, righty? It's so sleepy. So we are going to Sam's Club today. I have had a lot over the last 24 hours, like on Instagram, requests to do a snack haul because you guys are looking for snacks for your toddler. <laughs> So we're doing Sam's Club, we're gonna bring him home. He's gonna nap, and then we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go to Aldi, and then get like the rest of our just regular grocery stuff. Um, those are pretty much the only two places we shop anymore. We might grab things at Target or Walmart, depending on like availability slash if I'm there and we need like onesie twosie things, but I don't usually shop there anymore. I can't, I love Walmart clothes, but I have a love-hate relationship with Walmart grocery pickup and I refuse to go in because it's just crazy. So I'm gonna finish making my coffee. Mommy's gotta put you down, baby. You are heavy. So yesterday was arm day and I literally feel like I can't even like lift a pencil. It is so painful. Hey babe, do you want me to put your coffee in a to-go cup? You have like a full thing over here. Yeah. Okay, well. So, I found this cute little cup. I think it was Al Sarza on Insta. She linked it. So much foam in the Nespresso. But it's a travel mug. Just a snap one or a screw? I think it's a snap, but how cute is that? We definitely need more creamer then. Do you have a preference on which mug? The little black skinny one of This one? Yeah. This is yours. I got this for you for Christmas. That was in your stocking. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Put it in my mug. You just want milk? Blech. I cannot do milk and coffee. No. Nope. Oh, God. I cannot do milk and coffee. It has to be creamer or black. I can't. E, can you leave that alone, baby? All right. Let's get out of here. Spartanburg Sam's Club is the busiest Sam's Club in the entire United States, I swear. And it is a Saturday morning, so we gotta go. All right, E. No, 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 we're not taking this apart. That's coffee. There's literally coffee in here. Okay, there you go. Kids grown, don't like help anymore. But my, my Lord, it takes like three business days to get down the stairs. <laughs> okay. You guys, our garage is an absolute disaster. Like, I can't. Oh God, all that stuff we have to take to my brother and sister-in-law. We're giving them a bunch of baby stuff and although they're not like pregnant or anything, um, they want to keep the baby stuff so yeah, that's what that is. Like, it's just, it's chaos. Gotta grab your coat from the back, but we're not doing a coat in the car seat. Gotta get in the car, we're gonna go to the and get groceries. All right, listen to me. Do not take your shoes off. No shoes, no, no, no taking the shoes off. Leave them on. Will you grab Ezra that toy? What? Will you grab Ezra that toy? He yeah. yelled, yell, please! <laughs> please! Please! Yeah, he's gonna go get it for you, baby. He's gonna go grab it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> it is a time leaving the house with two kids, man. Tell you what, I'm just not gonna make it. So I wanted to talk to y'all about my Mastopexy consultation. That is the official name, I believe it's Mastopexy, of a breast lift. And when I shared I wanted to get it, there was um, a lot of different responses as far as like what I could expect or you know who to ask for this and that. So um, my consult is Wednesday, I'm so excited. So we'll talk about that when I actually get in the car whenever that happens. Okay, so Mastopexy is the official name of a breast lift. I believe it's pronounced Mastopexy. I called the doctor and I asked, can he just do a Mastopexy? 
Um, because a bunch of you guys were saying that you were told you can't do one without a, uh, augmentation, which is actually what I've seen on like TikTok a lot. I've seen a lot of people say that like doctors won't do them without an augmentation. I think a lot of it, like some people said it had to do with price or shape or whatever. I am totally down to do a fat grafting if he feels like it will be better for the shape. Um, of my lift now this is like really strange to describe but <laughs> i have always had mega side boob and no cleavage in the front like none even if i wear like a push-up bra i've just never been one to have a lot of cleavage and so we're gonna have to talk about that the only reason i would do a fat grafting is if he could like he couldn't even that out and like get rid of the side boob. I don't quite know. The consultation is like two hours long. Um, so we are going to talk extensively about it on Wednesday. I'm seeing Dr. Bill Cortesis in Huntsville, North Carolina. Um, he did my mom's, like he did a little lift and like a he fixed basically what another doctor didn't do that well. Um, and I really am excited about it. He also believes in breast implant illness, I believe, um, which is a big, like that was a big deciding factor because um, at least with my mom's experience, if you get a doctor who oh believes gosh. in the breast implant illness, they're not gonna just push implants and just push, 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 because I don't oh want them. I think they look amazing. I was looking at the photos on his website, but that's not what I want. I don't want implants I want small I want natural I want minimal <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm going Wednesday Dr. Cortesis he's at HKB it's like his one of, I think it's like a private practice with like him and two other doctors um and so yeah I'm really really excited I have all the questions lined up I'm ready to ask him ready to see if this is the guy that's going to do them and I did ask how far out they are and she said I'm sorry we're going in and out of trees it's always like this right here um the lady did say that they're booking out for like end of February early March right now so okay well lighting's crazy so I'm gonna go got home from Sam's Club y'all are sitting on one of the yogurt boxes those yogurt pouches and applesauce pouches are his favorite but we got the rotisserie chicken enchiladas these are so delicious um we actually were able to get a ton of stuff. They like were super empty today, so it wasn't picked through, which was nice. I got spinach traps. Sam gets the regular flour tortillas, grapes for E. We got strawberries. Look at how look at their strawberries. These are like the prettiest strawberries ever. We never get their sushi, but we did get some today. We're just gonna see. We got the Akita party planner and a California roll for dinner. I did salsa. He wants a snack already. Bananas, he loves bananas and actually that's something. That was one of Ezra's first foods. So we're gonna give it to Roe too. Three pack of red sauce. Some halos. He's tired. Got two of these, they're the protein oats. These are really good, they're for me. It's oatmeal. So I get those because they are, let's see, half a cup of oatmeal is 10 grams of protein. We got two of our favorite coffees. So these are the best, hands down. Um, but they did change the logo of the like uh, coffee pod. So I'm not sure if they're gonna change the logo of the bags too, but it's members mark. These are the pods, so delicious. We got some of the go-go squeeze pouches, the applesauce ones. Um, Let's see, a different kind of them. He loves those apple sauces. Got some rice. This is taco seasoning. Guacamole packs, these are really good, especially if you're counting calories because it is um, 110 per one cup, so it's just easier. If, it's just easier all around. This is our favorite. Creamer. Yesterday was arm day, so I'm like literally shaking doing this. Um, the Chobani sweet cream is the best. There's not one that's better. You can't convince me of it. These are really good sweet little um, Greek yogurt mini bars. We also got minute rice for white rice. Some things just need jasmine rice and some things need white rice. 
these Velveeta snacks are delicious. We actually get these because Sam, Sam, Ezra sometimes won't eat our sides that we make with dinner, but he always eats this. So like these are really more sides than snacks. Oh my God. Sam has been craving cranberry juice and I don't know why, but he got a two pack of cranberry juice. And then we also got some yogurt, gogurt squeeze. I'm telling you all these things, like they are his all time favorite, the yogurt. And then lastly, we did Cascade. So um, I have to go to Aldi now and that's, I'm gonna get like eggs, the organic chicken, um, like some of our beans and, and canned items that I don't need nine of. Um, I think we can get some spinach, things like that. So this is Sam's Club, we're gonna put it up. This grumpy boy's gotta go for a nap, so. That is the Sam's Club haul, again, for like snacks and then just random. Okay, and now I'm back with an Aldi haul. I'm gonna share the price at the end because I want you guys to know, like if you don't have an Aldi or you don't shop at Aldi, you absolutely need to. I feel like they've really stepped it up in the past few years, like even like eight, nine years ago, whenever I would try and shop at an Aldi, I hated it, the selection was horrible. But what I like about it is like everything, you can get tons of like organic stuff. You no know, antibiotics are added to things. You can get um, organic chicken, like their produce section is really big. So let me show you everything I got. However, a couple things, one, I did shop hungry, so there's a lot of stuff in here that we did not need. And two, I got a lot of like um, meats actually. So organic spinach first and foremost. And then I also got romaine hearts. I think these are a little bit better in wraps versus this is my favorite for salad. Mexican cheese. I got two of the red pepper hummus um, dips. These are really good. I have been eating these nonstop with cucumbers i got granny smith apples i got two packs of the organic i got zucchini and not cucumbers cool so we're going to be having organic zucchini i thought i was getting cucumbers great Cool, 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 cool. They were literally right next to each other. Sour cream. I got regular tomatoes, and then I also got two things of cherry tomatoes, because I think these are better in salads, but I think these are better in wraps. Their calzones are absolutely delicious. I will eat these sometimes for lunch. I'll make some for Ezra for lunch. Um, I got the buffalo chicken and the cheese for the I got two of each, so four total. Those are really, those were an impulse purchase. Also an impulse purchase, cream cheese, stuffed jalapenos. Like who needs these? Nobody, but I was hungry when I grocery shop. These are some of Ezra's favorites. They're little chocolate chip mini muffins. They usually have blueberry, they didn't today. Those are his favorite. These are for Sam, dark chocolate with almonds. And then I got their sliced chicken breast. So yeah, it's like 10 grams of protein, no artificial colors or flavors, no nitrates, gluten-free, like they have really good high quality stuff. So got chicken breasts. Those are what I put on my wraps. I got restaurant style tortilla chips. Look how big this bag is. I did get a gallon of milk. And then I also got 24 large grade A brown eggs. Um, they have, usually they only have like one or two kinds of like organic eggs or cage free eggs or free range or whatever, like the different kinds. They don't have a ton of options, but they also have just regular eggs and the regular eggs are like a dollar and 30 cents right now or something for, for a dozen. And then, oh my goodness. I also got a pork roast. This is absolutely delicious. This really isn't enough for our family because three of us eat now. So what we'll do is we'll make the pork roast and then we'll also make rice at nighttime. And that's what we'll eat for dinner and it's delicious. I got organic chicken breasts. So two large organic chicken breasts. I got a, this is our favorite. It's black Angus extra thin cut beef. These are really good for tacos. 
I got ground beef because I want to make baked spaghetti this week, like actual in the crock pot baked spaghetti. And then I got a ton of chicken breasts in the big family pack so that we could freeze these and then um, have some like other chicken meals throughout the week. Now, Roman is doing, we are starting like to implement baby led weaning, but we started out with Ezra and it was such a good, it was amazing a transition. So we started out with purees, got him used to different textures, different tastes, and then transitioned him to regular fruit um, and did like the full true baby led weaning thing after we had kind of gotten comfortable with purees. Aldi has some of the like highest rated organic puree pouches on the market. And I like these because it's more sanitary to take the top off and squeeze this onto a spoon and feed them rather than dipping into a jar. So that's why I like these, but I got a ton of these. Apple, banana, strawberry, pear, blueberry, spinach, apple, mango. Uh, I got apple, pear, spinach like so many of these because that's just what we're giving Roman right now. I did get some biscuits for, um, we do Sunday breakfast. We'll do like bacon, egg and cheese or egg and cheese or whatever. These literally taste like Girl Scout cookies. Those two flavors are delicious. That was an impulse buy. Don't usually buy those. I got these dino nuggets for E. They're dinosaur shaped chicken breast patty fritters. And again, no added hormones. Um, they are, it's like a huge, it's two pounds worth of chicken nuggets. So he likes those. Those are a surefire way to get him to eat chicken broth. I got Sam a bunch of protein bars. He takes these to work with his lunch. So that is why he likes those. Some more pouches. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so like the amount of pouches that I have right here is insane. And then these were also an impulse buy. So macaroons because, oh my gosh, yum. I didn't know that they had these and they may not always, but it's got raspberry, vanilla, pistachio, salted caramel, lemon, and chocolate. I got two boxes. <laughs> and then I also got cheesecake bites, New York style, strawberry swirl, and turtle. Totally not normally a part of the grocery thing, but wanted them this week. Everything I just showed you, $183. There was one time I literally went into Food Lion and I got five things and I spent 60 bucks. Five things. And I just bought, hold on, let me show you. Like all of that. And this, again, we're like talking organic produce, organic chicken, organic pouches, dessert, chips, like yummy things. 183. So I'm gonna call it here for this vlog. Ezra got woken up, Doug barked when I pulled in the driveway. So I'm hoping he goes back to sleep, but I don't think he's going to, which is gonna be great for us for the rest of the day. So thank y'all so much for watching the vlog and we'll see you in the next one.